all the information you need about erotic asphyxiation. What's that? Officially, breath play is called erotic asphyxiation, EA. In this kind of sexual activity, you or your partner willfully cut off the air supply of the other person by choking, suffocating, or other means. People who like to play with their breath say that it can make them more sexually aroused and make their orgasms stronger. But there are risks, and there are a lot of them. If you don't take the right steps, it can kill you. Autoerotic asphyxia is thought to kill between 250 and 1,000 people in the United States every year. Here are the things you need to know to stay safe and have fun. Is it ever safe? There are risks involved in most sexual activities, but there's no denying that some types of breath play have more serious risks. Janet Brito, PhD, LCSW, CSD, an expert in sex therapy, says, EA is very dangerous and can cause serious harm, such as cardiac arrest, brain damage from not getting enough oxygen, and even death. Most experts advise against EA because it can cause an irregular heart rate, cardiac arrest, and death. Still, this activity is becoming more and more of a hobby, and steps can be taken to make it a bit safer for interested people. Breath play can't be done in a way that's 100% safe. Different kinds of breath play have different risks, but you can avoid problems by taking care. Why do people like it so much? People are interested in breath play for many different reasons, just like they are interested in many other sexual kinks and oddities. Here are three that are often used. Physiological. During breath play, either you or your partner cut off your brain's supply of oxygen. The first step is done here. When you don't have enough oxygen in your blood, you might feel lightheaded or dizzy. But when the pressure is released and blood and oxygen start flowing again, you may feel a different rush. This one is caused by the release of dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins, which can make you feel so excited that your head starts to spin. Psychological Some fans of breath play like the arrangement's power play. You can choke or suffocate your partner if you are in charge. Or you can be controlled if you are the weak one. Your partner is in charge and makes the decisions. Some people find that this gives them a second level of sexual excitement. Physical. When you choke, suffocate, or strangle someone, your body may think that the rush of endorphins and hormones is a good thing that makes you feel good. In reality, your body made those hormones as a way to protect itself. But when mixed with emotions and pleasure, these feelings may feel more like pain is pleasure than like your brain and body trying to tell you something is wrong. It's something you can do for yourself or a partner. EA done by yourself is called auto-asphyxiation or auto-erotic asphyxiation. Breath play alone is more dangerous than breath play with a partner. Many people who do EA alone try to make a fail-safe. For example, they might use a knot that will break if they pull too hard, or they might hit their knees on a closet if they pass out. These plans are meant to keep people from dying, but many of them don't work. A better plan is to tell a close friend or someone you trust and ask them to keep an eye out. This could mean waiting in the next room or coming in at a certain time to see how you are doing. Even if you do breath play with a partner, it can still be dangerous. You or your partner might not know when choking or strangling is too much. This can make side effects last longer or raise the risk of serious problems. Three things make up responsible breath play. If you want to play EA safely and have fun, you need to know the following. Education. Take the time to learn about how the neck, head, and chest are put together. This will help you get a better idea of how far pressure and force can go. Gradual increases will also help you avoid getting hurt. Learning about the body structure will also help you know where to put your hands or restraints like belts, scarves, or ties. The arteries around the neck can handle some pressure, but at first, you don't want to use too much. Communication Before a couple thinks about EA, they should set aside time to talk about their needs and wants in detail, including what kinds of boundaries are needed, says Brito. Putting together a set of nonverbal cues can help people feel safe. 
depending on the situation, you or your partner may want to think about. Holding something, like your keys, and dropping it when you want to stop. Tap your partner's hand or a nearby surface three times. When you snap your fingers. Consent. Before things get heated, you and your partner should talk about your limits, and consent should be given at each stage of play. Neither you nor your partner can give proper consent if you or they are too drunk or high. Also, using drugs or alcohol during breath play can make the chance of getting hurt or having problems go up. Different kinds come with different dangers. Risks aren't the same for every kind of breath play. Here are some of the most common types and how you should get ready for them. Choking When you press on the outside of your throat, you stop two main arteries from sending air and blood to your brain. This makes it hard to breathe and can lead to the good feelings that come with EA. You might be able to do this type of breath play safely as long as you don't put too much pressure on your trachea or Adam's apple. Over the head Putting a bag over your head can cut off your access to oxygen right away or make it much less. If you don't get enough oxygen, you may feel dizzy or faint. This can lead to long-term problems or even death. This kind of breath play might be safer with a partner, but if you do it by yourself, you might pass out before you can take the bag off your head. Strangulation When your body thinks there isn't enough blood flow, blood pressure goes up. When the strangle hold is broken, there can be a strong rush of blood, followed by euphoric feelings like dizziness and loss of focus. But strangulation, which can be done by hand or with a belt, tie, scarf, or another object, can become dangerous very quickly. If the pressure is too high or lasts too long, it could lead to a heart attack or even death. Leaving at least two fingers of space between the neck and the equipment used can help prevent cardiac arrest and death. This keeps it from being too tight around the neck, but you or your partner can still make up the difference by hand. Smothering Breath plays when your partner sits on your face or the other way around. Gas masks can sometimes do the same thing. When your airway is blocked, your brain gets less oxygen, which can make you feel dizzy and weak. If you try to suffocate by yourself, it could be dangerous because you might pass out before you can remove the blockage. With a partner, smothering might be safer, but you will need a safe word or signal to let the other person know when the pressure is too much. Are there likely to be some side effects? Even if you do everything right, you might still have some side effects. Among these are Coughing Disorientation Weakness in muscles Numbness Drowsiness Inability to work together One side effect isn't very dangerous by itself. But if you're practicing EA by yourself, having more than one side effect at once could stop you from leaving the situation. That can make them dangerous in the end. What could happen if it gets out of hand? Because EA is so close to being both safe and dangerous, most doctors and experts advise against it. Some of the reasons why are these long-term problems. Brain damage. Every time your brain doesn't get enough oxygen, you do damage to it. Asphyxiation that happens often can cause problems over time. Damaged larynx. If you press down on the larynx, you can hurt the soft muscle organ. At the same time, the force may break or fracture the hyoid, which is a bone in the neck that supports the tongue. Aspiration. Some of the things that EA does may make you feel sick. This can make you throw up. Some people may end up breathing in the vomit, which is rare but can happen. That means they get vomit into their airway or lungs in some way. This can make it hard to breathe for a long time and make you more likely to get an infection, among other problems. A heart attack. When there isn't enough oxygen in the blood, the blood's chemicals change. These changes can throw off the heart's natural rhythm, which can lead to dangerous problems that can kill. In the end, this can lead to cardiac arrest, though it doesn't happen very often. Orbital Superiosteal Hematoma In one rare case, a woman who did EA went to the emergency room with a bleed in her eyeball, called an orbital superiosteal hematoma. 
This can cause permanent loss of sight and long-term pain in the eyes. What to do if you or your partner are having problems? If your partner has stopped breathing, you should call 911 right away. Then begin CPR. If you know this technique, you can use it right away to save your own life. If you don't, the person who comes to help will tell you what to do. If you are practicing EA alone and have side effects or problems, ask someone else in the house for help. You might only need a few minutes to get more oxygen and blood to the area. If you can't breathe or are having chest pains, call your local emergency service right away. If you'd like to know more. Because breath play can be dangerous, it's a good idea to talk to a professional sex therapist before trying any activity. They can help you learn about the right anatomy, answer your questions, and point you in the direction of other resources. You can also take classes at adult shops in your area to learn more. Many of these places are used for workshops or training. Don't forget that many experts actively tell people to stay away from EA. It can quickly change from something fun to do sexually to something dangerous.